Hey everyone, this is Mike from Real Life Counseling, and today we're going to talk about the quote from Viktor Frankl, the founder of Logotherapy, who said that um, life is not made unbearable by circumstances, but uh, rather by a lack of meaning and purpose. <clears throat> so whatever your circumstance in life, it's not necessarily the circumstance that makes life unbearable. It's having a lack of meaning and purpose. Um, Viktor Frankl survived the Holocaust, and uh, you'd be hard-pressed to find a more horrifying circumstance uh, than that. But he had some meaning and purpose. The meaning was to survive and to let people know what happened and to share his philosophy, his psychology, on how you can survive, even terrible things like that. That's what kept him going, and um, that's what gave him purpose and meaning in his life. Um, you have people like uh, Stephen Hawking, who was um, confined to a wheelchair for the majority of his adult life. But every day he woke up with a meaning and a purpose in life to explore the universe and, and the mysteries of, of the world and, and the, the cosmos. Um, science, solving scientific problems. This was his meaning and purpose. And rather than give in to despair, he survived. Um, we've all known people who are paralyzed or in wheelchair, they they're, they're, um, have terrible diseases, maybe they're, they're um, amputation, maybe they're burned. And we think to ourselves, how, how could they possibly go on? Um, maybe they, they suffered the death of a child. You, you hear a lot of gun violence and you think, how do they do it, right? And then alternatively, you have people that have everything, right? Fame, money, power, and uh, they can't keep out of trouble, right? They turn to drugs, uh, they engage in violence, they, they, they have criminal uh, actions against them, they can't maintain relationships, they destroy their whole lives, they have everything, and they just can't find any kind of happiness. And um, Dr. Frankel says that it's because we as human beings have a will to meaning, a desire for meaning in our lives. And we're not complete without it. That we want to give something back. We want to have a legacy. This is why many people that are wealthy um, very often turn to activism. You see a lot of a uh, athletes, musicians, actors, who um, after they gain wealth, decide to do something bigger than themselves. So Leonardo DiCaprio um, is involved in the environment. It's a very important thing for him. Now, you could argue whether acting is important. It, 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 it's an art. It inspires us. It, it gives us an escape. But at the end of the day, he clearly believes that helping the environment is a much bigger issue. It gives him meaning. And as much, if not more, than acting. Sometimes we don't get meaning from our jobs. Um, one of the hardest things is to find what is our meaning and purpose in life. Um, it could be uh, caring for our children or our spouse. Sometimes making a sacrifice. The meaning is we sacrifice for others that we love, and that's, that's the meaning and purpose in our lives. Um, there's no one answer to what that is. We have to make that decision. But Finding some purpose and meaning in your life is, is what, makes, it what makes us complete. And a failure to find what that meaning and purpose is can leave a hole, can leave a hole right, right in the center of your being. Um, you don't feel complete. You feel like there's something missing. There's a lack of something. And people constantly try to fill that empty space, and they can't do it. They'll buy things, they'll go from one relationship to another, They'll travel, they'll, they'll run around like a chicken with their head cut off, and it's temporary. Whatever, whatever uh, sense of satisfaction we get from those things is temporary. Um, how many people commit suicide? And, and for reasons that baffle us, you know, maybe we can understand a severe illness, right? Or, or just a terrible life circumstance. But people, other people, seemingly things are going great. The, the idea is that if, if we don't feel like we matter, that we don't have a purpose or meaning, 
we get in trouble. And so uh, finding a meaning, I would recommend you reading um, many of the books by, by Viktor Frankl. Uh, one of them is, is the Will to Meaning. Um, and uh, there's, there's several others that he wrote over the course of his lifetime. It's very inspiring. Um, and it's very, uh, it, it touches on a part in, in, in our, our spirit and our soul and something more profound than just traditional psychotherapy or counseling or psychology. So meaning is important. Please find some purpose and meaning. And remember, it's not the circumstances in our life that make life unbearable. It's not our jobs, our financial situation, other people. As, as challenging as those may be, as, as, as devastating as those may be, even with those things, if we had some meaning in our life, if we could find some purpose, even under the worst of circumstances, life is bearable. Now, it may not be fantastic, but it's bearable, and we could still find a purpose for our life, a, a legacy, a reason why we're here, even under the worst circumstance. So I would read his books and, and um, research and investigate logotherapy. Uh, I think you might find it very worthwhile. All right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. And uh, if you want to get notifications of new videos, please hit that uh, bell icon. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.